flourishing fields. That's the legacy left behind by Dr. Tetsu Nakamura, who was attacked and fatally wounded on his way to work in Jalalabad, Afghanistan. Nakamura was uh, an icon of humanity, and uh, he was uh, here for decades and for many years to serve the Afghan people, to give them and provide them a sustainable livelihood. Tetsu Nakamura left his home in the 1980s to treat patients on the Afghanistan-Pakistan border. In 1991, he opened a clinic in Afghanistan's Nangarhar province and realized that poverty from a lack of clean water was the main problem in the region. As a doctor, nothing is better than healing patients and sending them home. A hospital treats patients one by one, but this helps an entire village. I love seeing a village that's been brought back to life. Despite all odds, he empowered locals to turn 160 million square meters of the desert into arable land with the technology at hand. He built 11 canals, 1,500 wells, and secured a stable food supply for 600,000 people. Starvation, drought, medicine can't solve these problems, and water creates food. So people weren't malnourished anymore. It certainly took time, but these local communities did come back to life. Nakamura was renowned in the region for his work. Nakamura was not only the champion of our, uh, our uh, eastern provinces. Nakamura was the champion of all Afghanistan. So that's why today we are gathered here and we all Afghan very sad. We are very sad. In October, Afghan President Ashraf Ghani awarded him an honorary citizenship. Don't aim so big. Do what you can, one thing at a time.